Welcome! Let's make an origami caterpillar. Here's some of the examples of what it looks like when we are done. We are going to start with a piece of regular origami paper, a square. This is a six by six inch square. In fact, we are actually only need one quarter of this size. So if you can fold it in half, this is the size that we're going to need. And then fold that in half again. And we're, we need one quarter. We need a very long rectangle. So it's about one and a half inches. So take that rectangle and cut it along there so that you have one quarter, about one and a half inches by six inches or something similar. So we start with our very long rectangle. First thing I want you to do is fold it in half lengthwise in a valley fold and line up the corners there. Kids sometimes call this hot dog fold. So fold it lengthwise along there and then open it back up again after you finish that crease and we're going to fold each of the corners into that center line. So fold the corner over right side and left side on one end and right side and left side on the other end. Next thing we're going to do, choose one of the ends and take the tip of the triangle and fold it to the base. And then on the opposite end, we're going to fold the red triangle, or what's the triangle there, to the back. And we're going to be doing a crease and then turn the paper over and then fold it over so that there's a little bit of the triangle facing out. And we're going to crease the paper back and forth and back and forth about 10 times. So this takes a little while. You fold it up about a little less than one centimeter and then fold it back about an eighth of an inch. Fold it up and back and up and back. We're making an origami caterpillar and you can find the downloadable instructions at www the day we went to the park.com. This caterpillar you can see in a children's book called The Day We Went to the Park.com. All right, you finish your creases there. Next thing I want you to do is fold it or turn it over. And we are going to fold, you still have a line of center line here. We're going to fold the outside corner outside edge to the center line and then the same thing on the other side fold that to the center line it's easier if you st stop just a little bit from the center and then you're going to take that and do another valley fold and fold it in half again there's a lot of paper here fold it in half so now it's like that, it's lengthwise. And then grab at each end and pull and bend a little bit so that you're, you can make the shape of your caterpillar. If you want it to look like an inchworm, you can have it be sticking up at the front and down in the center. And there's your completed caterpillar. You can also try this with other papers. This is crepe paper. This is also crepe paper. Here is some wrapping paper. And here is even some office paper.
Thank you. You can see the directions at thedaywewenttothepark.com.